Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with another review. And today, I have the O-Ray CO-EX330-K HDMI extension kit. This product makes it incredibly easy for you to share all of your HDMI media content with a remote location up to 330 feet away over a single coaxial RG6U cable. This product also supports cascading multiple receivers off of a single transmitter so you can create an entire network to share that same content. Included with the kit are a set of infrared blasters for the transmitter and receiver modules that will collect up the remote control signals from both locations and allow you to control that remote monitor from your primary location or control the media content at that secondary location. The product fully supports full HD 1080p content and includes a set of EDID switch settings so you can make whatever adjustments are needed for the best possible audio and video. Now, as part of this overview, I always like to start with an unboxing of a product just to show you everything that's included with the kit. And then I'll take a closer look at both the transmitter module and the receiver module and explain the connections you'll need to make to use it with your own equipment. And finally, I'll come back and point out a few things that really separate this HDMI extension kit from others that are available on the market. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you open up the box, you'll find the transmitter module, the receiver module. You'll find a power supply for each of the modules. This is a standard 5 volt, 1 amp power supply. You'll plug this end into any wall outlet. The other end has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into the back of the module. And that's all the power you'll need to operate those two modules. You'll also find a pair of infrared blasters for the transmitter and receiver. And these plug directly into the back of the module. There's a warranty card and a full instruction manual included as well that lists connection diagrams and specifications and other details you'll need to understand in order to use this kit correctly. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at both of the modules and explain exactly how you'll connect those with your own equipment. Inside the box, you'll find a transmitter module and a receiver module, as well as a power supply and a set of infrared blasters for each of the two modules. The power supply is a standard 5 volt, 1 amp DC power supply. You can plug this end into any standard wall outlet. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into the back of the module and provides all the power required for operation. You'll also find a pair of infrared blasters included for each of the two modules, and these are slightly different. You'll notice this one has a smaller head and this one has a larger head. The smaller head is actually the transmitter and the larger head is the receiver. And it's really important you plug these into the correct ports in the back of both modules for proper operation. And I'll show you that in a minute. You'll also find a warranty card and a full instruction manual included. This instruction manual shows you connection diagrams, specifications, and other details about the product you'll need to understand to use it correctly. The modules themselves feature full metal enclosures, which make them incredibly durable. The transmitter is located at your primary location where you have the media content you'd like to share with the remote location, which is where you'll connect up the receiver. Now, both of them look very similar, but there's slight differences between them. So I'll start with the transmitter. On the front of the transmitter module, on the left-hand side, you'll find a link LED. When you make the coaxial connection between the modules, that connection is being checked. They'll handshake over that connection, and this LED will come on when that connection has been verified. To the right of that is an HDMI input port. That's a standard HDMI connection. This is where you'll connect up your media device that you'd like to share the content from with your remote locations. To the right of that are two 3.5 millimeter ports. That's where the infrared blasters plug in, infrared in, and infrared transmit. So make sure you get the right module plugged into those two ports. To the right of that is a pair of EDID switches, and these are explained in the manual, but these allow you to adjust things like frame rate and audio styles to accommodate a wide range of media content. On the rear of the module, you'll find a power LED on the left-hand side. You'll plug that power supply into the wall. The barrel connector gets plugged in here. This unit, when you apply power, starts an internal power on self-test. When it passes that test, it'll light that LED, letting you know the module's ready to use. To the right of that is a connector for the RG6U coaxial cable between the locations. One end connects here, the other end connects at the receiver. Now we'll take a look at the receiver. On the front of that module, again, you'll find a lock indicator. That's checking the quality of the connection over that coaxial cable between the two modules to let you know you have a solid connection. And that'll come on once the connection is made between the primary site and the secondary site. To the right of that is an HDMI output port, again, a standard port. You'll connect the cable from here to the monitor you'd like to enjoy the content on. To the right of that are two infrared blaster ports, again, just like on the transmitter, infrared RX, infrared transmit. Make sure you put the right module in those ports. On the rear of the unit, again, an LED for power, a power port that's used with the second power supply, and then two more connections here for coaxial cables. The one you really care about is the coaxial in. That's the other end of the cable from the transmitter. 
the loop out is used for a second receiver because you can cascade multiple receivers off that single transmitter. So if you want to use a second receiver, you use another coaxial cable from here to the second receiver, from the second to the third, and you'll daisy chain receivers that way. And that's pretty much it for both of the modules. They're very easy to connect up and very simple with the connections between them. I hope that closer look was helpful, and here are a few key things to keep in mind when you're comparing the O-Ray CO-EX330-K HDMI extension kit to others you may be considering. The first big difference with this particular product is the unique connection topology between the transmitter and receiver modules. Most other products on the market use either a LAN-based or a wireless connection between those two locations. And this one is different because you'll make that connection over a standard coaxial RG6U cable. And that's important because that cable is heavy duty, it's incredibly flexible, and it's perfect for any residential or commercial installation where you need that extra durability. Another key difference is the inclusion of the infrared blaster kits, which give you complete control over the content from both of those locations. So it picks up the remote control signals at that secondary location so you can control the content you're watching. It'll also send the remote control signals from your primary location to control the monitors at those secondary locations. It sends that bi-directionally over that coaxial cable between the locations. Another big difference is the ability to cascade multiple receivers off of a single transmitter, and that allows you to create a network of sharing for that primary content. One final thing that really makes a difference is the ability to adjust manually the EDID settings so you can accommodate a wide range of audio and video styles to be transmitted across that network. So everything you need to get started is included with the kit and with a few simple connections you can be up and running in no time. So I hope you've enjoyed this content and until next time, <laughs> stay nerdy.